competitive rates. We welcome to the program now Greg Cronin, South Mississippi Regional President of the Citizens Bank. Greg, good to see you, man. Good, great to be with you, Gerard. Thanks for having me. Looks like it's going to be uh, another great conference. Uh, Dr. Syree went through some of the topics that are being uh, discussed here today at the symposium. All the bankers gathered up trying to to learn uh, about stuff that's going on presently, stuff that's going to be coming their way in the future, and try to uh, navigate what I think has arguably become a, a little bit more challenging environment. It has. I, you know, I I've asked a lot of times, you know, kind of how do you just define today? And, uh, and I think it's uncertainty is probably the main word that, you know, that I use most of the time in terms of, uh, you know, one day you can read uh, about the good things that are happening, the economy's good, those type of things. And then the next day, uh, the conversation's about recession. And so I think it's just a, a lot of uncertainty that's out there right now in terms of, of um, maybe where we're heading economically. Uh, I think the Fed has a really tough job ahead of them, and I, you know, they're trying to create a soft landing, and I, I think that there's still uh, quite a few questions out there in terms of, you know, how they, what they do. Um, uh, you know, it appears that we may have a rate increase right. toward the end of the year in December, and, um, and and I think a lot of folks think that this could go above, or rates could go above, or the Fed rate could go above 6%. Yeah. Uh, and I think if that happens, uh, you know, that'll continue to slow down the economy. But uh, I can tell you, I can share with you from the banking perspective, yeah. we still have a pretty robust pipeline. Okay, good. Loans, we're making loans. We're closing loans. Uh, people are borrowing money. Okay. Um, I, I represent more of the coast, and I, I share a lot of times that uh, uh, the interest rates are an issue, and they're, and they're, they're part of the conversation, and they should be. Sure. Uh, but there are some other things that are out there too, such as insurance and things like that, no that are, that are, you know, out there in the, in the conversation. And so, uh, but I think next year is going to be a really challenging year. And again, I go back to that word. I think uncertainty is probably the word I use right now. Well, have you been shocked with uh, reports of the consumer? The consumer seems strong. We got positive consumer spending reports we got an incredible blockbuster gdp report i was shocked at that yeah and it's been good three the past three yeah. uh reporting periods yeah. past three quarters and and uh i think that's the uncertainty that's out there uh you know uh i don't go into the stock market very i try to yeah. much to stay but you know meta comes out earlier this week and then amazon had a yeah, blistering blockbuster, blockbuster day yesterday and so uh, you know, maybe maybe inconsistency is a word to use also <laughs> in, in this conversation, but yeah. uh, but it's just uh, it's just challenging times. Uh, also, I think Mississippi represents this. I know that the South Mississippi does, but we also typically lag uh, right. That's economically. Right. Uh, we're we're slower to go into a slowdown. We're we're slower to come out of that slowdown at the same time. Uh, but um, you know, I, I, as I said, we have a robust pipeline. We're we're closing loans. We're closing consumer loans. Uh, I, it is slowing down, but it hasn't stopped. Okay. And um, well, that's good to hear. You know, well, you know, my experience in business, and get your take on this as well. If this has been yours in Mississippi, is that when the economy is just super booming. We really aren't quite booming at the same level, but when the economy falls off, we don't really have that kind of uh, decline. We're we're fairly stable. Yeah, you know, we don't have those either. peaks and valleys, That's right. or as 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 much of a peak. Much and easier valley. to manage. Much easier. Yeah, yeah. Has that been your experience? It has for. I've been doing this a long time. Uh, I have to count probably to, <laughs> to yeah. get to that number real quick, but it's been that way through my banking career uh, in terms of being working in Mississippi. I worked in Alabama for just a little while, but. Uh, my experience has been in Mississippi, and, and again, you're right. The, the the peaks are not quite as high, and the valleys are not quite as low. Uh, we usually lag, uh, but um, uh, but we're very resilient, and and um, and I think a lot of it also comes that I think within uh, within Mississippi, and maybe a little bit about the southeast. Uh, this kind of goes into a whole nother conversation, but uh, I think some of our conservative nature. Uh, it helps also. I agree. I agree. And uh, before we go, I'd, I'd make this comment that our state doesn't really have a, a large concentration of any one industry. So we have a fairly diverse economy, if you think about that, the composition of it. Yeah. So it's not like 
you know, some, some areas of the country where they're totally relying on one industry. Maybe it's one factory or one set of, of adjunct businesses serving that. We don't really have that in Mississippi, yeah. which is, uh, I think, a good thing. In yeah, yeah diversity is good. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Greg, good to see you. Thanks for coming on. Good to see be with the you. game on Saturday. I'll be there. All right. Hotty look forward to it. Absolutely. <laughs> Folks, it's time for a break here on uh, Middays. We're at the UM School of Business Banking Symposium. We've relocated the Element Well Studio to the Oxford Conference Center. It's top of the hour. That means it's time for Fox News and Super Talk News. And when